This is the new Hawassi Products Bio Extractor. This is the X150. Um, basically, the idea is to be able to liquefy compost to make it more pliable on your farm. So you can do a liquid application to a sprayer, you can do foliar, you can do so soil drenches. It just makes the compost more usable. Um, the key principles is that we have an auger that's metering the material into the extraction chamber. And then the extraction chamber, we have flood jet tips inside there that are rinsing the biology and nutrients off the compost. The biology and nutrients falls through the screen into a catch basin. Catch basin drains out into your um, application system or storage system. And then the waste material would fall out through the front here. And then you can recycle that back onto your compost pile. On this side, we have our water input. So for the X150, it's a normal three quarter inch garden hose. Um, you would need some sort of external pump. We do have an electric pump option for this one that would bolt on here. And then otherwise, if you have good pressured water from either a horse pulley pump or a different pump water source, that would be plugged into here. Then you have your water agitation control, which basically runs a film of water down the side of each of the hopper for reducing a bridging. So that's controlled here. You have your pressure gauge to make sure you get good pressure. You have the optional um, rinse down hose, which we'll see on the X250. And then you have a valve to turn it off so that you can clean the machine down without um, running the tips. You have a strainer to ensure there is no sediment going into the tips and clogging them. And then you have the connection to the front. Um, one of the really cool features of the this new extractor is the quick release screen. So you just disconnect this hose and then just loosen this knob and then you can pull the screen out. And this allows for really, really easy cleaning, really easy um, swapping out if you want to use different size screens. So we have four sizes. 40 mesh, 50 mesh, 60 mesh, and 80 mesh. And that makes it very simple to swap in and out. So it's showing the hand crank. The faster you go, the more concentrated your extract will be. But it's very it's not very much force needed to crank this thing. So this is our X350 extractor. This is the um, top of the line available right now version. And basically we try to put everything in this machine that we thought a pretty big scale farm would want. Basically giving them all the ability to be as automated as possible while keeping controls and mechanisms simple and easy to maintain. People wanted a big hopper to be able to load it up and walk away for up to an hour. So that's why we got this big hopper option which has ability for 200 pounds of compost to go in there. And then you can basically set your concentration and walk away and the machine will run. Um, we do have the ability then, because of the big hopper, to set up a timer. So you could plug the whole machine into a timer and then set it for an hour and then set your concentration and walk away and the machine will shut itself off when you have the capacities run out. So that gives you the little ability to be able to fill up a tank and go into the field and start seeding. And there is a built-in solenoid valve which will then, when the power cuts, it'll cut the solenoid and the motor, and then you can rest in peace if the machine has shut off and it's not overflowing or all that kind of stuff. Um, it has the same basic features as the economy model. So we have the water agitation, which you'll see is just running down inside the little hopper without the hopper extension. And then we have the option for uh, spray down hose, the valve, pressure regulation. Um, this one runs at 700 gallons an hour. This machine also has the two inch in and out um, cam, banjo cam lock. And then we have the strainer here, so to prevent any of the tips from clogging. And then we have a booster pump, which will boost the pressure from zero up to 40 PSI, which is the ideal pressure we found for extraction. And then you can see in the front is our transfer pump. So the extract would gravity feed into the transfer pump and the transfer pump pulses on and off 
as the material is needed to be transferred out into your application or storage system. So you have the on off button and then you can start the pump without turning on the auger to allow the pump to prime itself and get build up pressure. And then you would start the auger to run the machine and you have the auger speed control to set the concentration of material you want. And then it has a purge option, which is only gonna run the transfer pump to drain that out at the end when you're trying to clean the whole system down. This is the Cadillac? Yep. And then what things so, have you done over here to make it a little bit easier economically? So over here, we basically, we're taking the same functionality, the same the core extraction process. And this machine comes with a 500 gallon an hour pump. So we're just reducing the flow a bit, cheaper pump. Um, and then the other big difference is this, the top part comes apart right here. You can see these two, four bolts. And so then you can get this machine with just the feet, like we're on the X150, or with this optional cart and transfer pump system. So basically, if you want the economy car option, right, it doesn't come with a built-in pump. It doesn't come with all that kind of stuff. It's just clap it on, and then you have your plugs right here. You plug in the pump. Um, so you, you won't have like the built-in purge feature and all that kind of stuff, but it just gives you that more affordable option. But other than that, it's the same basic um, principle of extraction, same transfer pump, just no covers, um, and it just doesn't look quite as quite as nice. Yeah. But you're basically getting it at a much cheaper price, so that's the trade-off. And this one has the option for the hopper extension as well at purchase.